Hey guys, Jared here, and today I'm going to benchmark a few different games running on an SSD, hard drive, and NAS over both Ethernet and Wi-Fi connections to try and determine how different storage types affect gaming performance. Personally, I run most of my games off of my NAS. It's got a lot of space and I can easily use the same files across many different computers without having to copy anything. This got me interested in finding out if this affects performance at all, so I've done a series of tests to see. I've tested 7 different games on an SSD, hard drive, and NAS using both Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Here are the different speeds of each disk according to Crystal Disk Mark. The SSD is a crucial SATA 3 drive, while the hard drive is a 1TB 5400 RPM disk. The NAS is running 4 4TB 7200 RPM disks in RAID 6, and it'll be limited by its gigabit connection. We can see here that Ethernet connectivity is much better than my Wi-Fi. I've also tested disk latency, as this may be a better indicator compared to raw transfer speed if the game is fetching small files regularly rather than doing a bulk transfer. Basically, this is the amount of time between a request for data and the return of that data. As expected, we can see the SSD is quickest, followed by the hard drive, NAS with Ethernet, then NAS with Wi-Fi, which is quite a lot behind, just like in the speed test results. My Wi-Fi tests were done with a laptop in the same room about 5 meters away from the access point. Your results will vary based on your hardware and distance. So we can see there's quite a different range of read and write speeds here. Now let's find out if these differences translate to any difference in frame rates with our games. While I'm expecting the disk speeds to affect how long it takes for the games to initially load, I have my doubts about it making a noticeable difference once playing the games, as most of the data will have already been loaded, so let's find out. As originally expected, there really isn't too much difference. And to be honest, most differences are so subtle that within the margin of error, some games seem to indicate that faster storage does translate to better frames per second, while others are all over the place and it doesn't seem to help at all. All games were tested with their maximum settings, as I wanted as many pieces of information to load as possible. I've also tested how long it took to actually load the games up with the different storage types, as I figured this would make the most practical difference based on the type of storage, so let's check those results. So basically, if you don't want to wait around to get into your games, an SSD or even local hard drive is usually faster than a NAS in most cases, as expected. Of course, SSD space is more expensive when compared to mechanical hard drives, so it's up to you to determine if this is worth paying for, especially as games continue to get larger. In terms of the gaming experience, once you've loaded the game, there really isn't that much noticeable difference in terms of FPS within the different storage types from my testing. This could of course vary based on the particular game. For instance, if you have a game that needs to continually load a lot of information from disk while playing, you might notice some slight hiccups. I had a few of these while testing with the NAS over Wi-Fi. From time to time there were a few stutters where things would pause, most noticeably in Watch Dogs 2 while driving around the map, as I assumed there were delays when new parts of the map would load. Using the NAS over Wi-Fi was the only time I experienced any noticeable issues while playing the games on the different types of storage. Basically, if you can afford SSD space for your games, then go for it. Otherwise, a slower mechanical hard drive is probably fine, if you don't mind waiting for your games to load. So what sort of disk do you store your games on? From my tests here, it doesn't seem to matter too much in terms of FPS, but more noticeably affects overall loading time. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and leave a like on the video if you found the information useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos like this one.